All right, welcome to another episode of Tassie Adventure Man. Me and little Bill, gonna do a solo mission. Uh, today, we're gonna do a how to cook abalone. I sort of come across this little recipe just by pure laziness. And I've been trying to cook it many different ways, all the tricks and all that sort of stuff. And like I said, got lazy and scored well. So I'm gonna show you how to cook it on the beach and see if you enjoy it, try it out. Leave some comments in the uh, comment section, whatever. Look at this, how nice. Beautiful day in Tassie. This is great. All right, first thing we're gonna do though, is go get an abalone, because I don't have any. So, let's launch this boat. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna play around with some seals too. Hey Bill, what do you reckon mate? <laughs> All right, let's get in the water, get some seal action, get some abalone and have some fun. Cheers, enjoy! Not too bad. This is my little backyard. Just scooted over from that way. Um, I suppose I want to try and keep this little spot semi-secret. Um, it's probably a bit obvious to the locals, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, got Mount Wellington in the background. That's pretty cool. And some beaches over there. Uh, this is my favorite part though. Um, see these things in the water here, not the kelp. My little seals, my little puppies. Um, obviously little Billy's my favourite, but these ones are pretty close. You heard me say that, so I got a little bit jealous. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump in here, play around with these guys for a bit, and get myself abalone. And we'll scoot around the corner, jump on the beach, and cook it up. Do a bit of relax. Just enjoy it. Why not? Absolute cracker day. All right, let's get wet. Let's get in the water. Have fun with little Sally the seal. Awesome. Uh, if you've never dived with seals before, um, can't give you any crazy safety advice. Obviously they're a lot bigger, most of them, and dangerous and all that sort of stuff. Um, common sense, I guess. Uh, they've got big teeth. They eat tuna really fast and yeah, so I guess they can eat us. But um, yeah, don't swim towards them. That's what I do. Just get in the water, do your thing. They'll come to you if they want to. I mean, yeah, because I don't study them, I don't know. But it's definitely a risk when you get in the water with anything, I suppose. So yeah, just look out for yourselves, look out for your mates and I don't know, just research it yourself, make the call yourself. All right, like I said, we're not gonna approach them. There's, um, there's a group behind me and a bit of a group over there. So I'll just look for some abalone in between them and I reckon once they work out I'm here, if they haven't already, they're gonna come over for a bit of a play. And then I'll have a little bit of a play. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think I've been spotted. <laughs> They're on to me. <laughs> All right.
Right, trying to get a nice little abalone here, so I'll um, show you how to pull one of them off the rock if you've uh, never grabbed. <laughs> excuse me, if you've never grabbed one before. So basically, as soon as you touch that abalone, its muscle will just clamp down on that rock. So you don't want to really touch it. You just want to get your ab knife and slip it under, slip it off straight away. Because as soon as you touch it, it clamps down. You might as well just, well, you just leave it. Because you'll just damage it, try to get it off. So, watch and learn from a total amateur. <laughs> All right, here you go. Oh, size abalone. Awesome. Here's our nice little abalone. Um, all right, I've showed you how to shuck them before, but quickly again. Uh, yeah, we've got a curved side and a flat side. Uh, what I mean by that is if you pull this muscle apart, there we go. You can see the curved side in there, and on this side, it's quite flat, it's actual shell. So what we'll do, we'll pull that flat side muscle apart, Whoa. bit like that. Get like an old school butter knife, whatever you want to use. Just run a knife along the bottom of the shell, and you'll see, here we go. And what we're cutting is just this part here. And then everything else, boom. So. Also got basically whole muscle and the only difference is this mouth. So we're gonna cut that out. There you go. Give that to the birdies. And then that's it, give her a rinse. Beautiful. Okay. We've got an old shirt. How does that? We do. Chuck our abalone in there. Lovely. Done. It's that easy. And then it's nice and soft. I like to keep it a little bit sort of hard on the outside. But yeah, you can see it's quite mushy in there. So, lovely. Nice shirt. Give it a wash later on, real good. Chuck some crumbs in there, about that much. No point in measuring anything. Way too hard. Lightly seasoned fish. But you can pretty much use anything, really. Um, these are good. Whatever, just make it up. It's all good. Pop that in there. Boom. Abalone in. See, you don't have to be a chef. Well, that's ready to cook up. Let's get on the beach and uh, start cooking. This is the important part. You don't want to have it too hot. So we're not gonna super crazy fry the bloody hell out of it. We just want like a nice slow bubble. Yeah, I reckon that looks pretty good. That's a good temp now. You can sort of tell like, yeah, it's not like you're frying um, squid rings or hot chippies or whatever. Have a bit of a look. Cool. Well, Oh, one other tip. We're going to cook it slowly. Like, yeah, it's a quick and easy recipe. But I mean by quick, like, quick to prep or whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's going to sit on there for, like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. I don't time it. Like, who wants to sit there and time stuff? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to relax. Let's get the drone up. Let's go flying.
smoke. If you don't have it too hot, after about 10 minutes or so, it won't be burnt. It'll be nice and golden and whatever. So, give her a bit of a turn. Now let's wait some more time. It's looking pretty good. I reckon we can take her out now. Beautiful. We'll just put that there. All right, let's carve her up. All I like to do is just, oh man, a bit of crunch on the outside. Just um, give it a few slices. Oh, it's pretty hot. All right, you can see we got all these crunchy bits. It's pretty good. Mm. And then, like, this isn't rubbery at all. It's just soft as, so, wow. Bit of lime. Heaps of lime. And, same thing, keep it simple. lettuce there we go look at that solid feed let's try some of this uh, wasabi mayo stuff cool boom that's us pretty good eating like kings That is incredible. Wow. So good. Abalone for the win. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, keep it easy, nice and simple. Um, and low oil heat, just shallow fry, really slow. I don't know, 10, 15 minutes per side. Just turn it the once. Um, so there you go. We like it. Um, don't have to make a wrap, obviously, just do the abalone like that and cut it up. Um, do whatever you want with it. Just chuck the whole thing in a burger if you want. Pasta. Cool. Hmm. 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 Well, I guess that's it. Cooked abalone. Showing you how to get one. Played with some seals. Eating it. Um, yeah, enjoy. See you on the next one. I'm going to um, sit down here for a while. Maybe go for a fish. Don't know. Just gonna relax. So, everyone take care, look after yourselves, look out for your mates, all that sort of cool stuff. Get in the water and come to Tassie. Enjoy some seafood. All right, start living off the land. It's a lot better than Coles and Woolies, Costco, all that sort of crap. So, cheers. Take care, everyone. Catch us next time.